video is sponsored by Mickey Travels. If you're looking to book a Disney vacation, then go book it with Mickey Travels. They're all about making sure you have the most magical vacation possible for the best price. So if you're interested, head down to the description of this video to get a free quote today. Mickey Travels, making magic one vacation at a time. Hello all my Hollow Maniacs out there, welcome back to the channel, it's so great to see you again. Now I'm going to do something different on today's video. As you guys know, I'm mostly known for doing Disney stuff and Disney impressions and stuff like that. I will occasionally do video games, uh, video game impressions and stuff like that, but I know this one seems out of left field. But y'all, I am a massive, massive Banjo-Kazooie fan. I have been a Banjo-Kazooie fan since the game came out. And when I was a kid, I played it over and over and over. And as an adult, I had bought Rare Replay a couple years ago, and I've been playing Banjo Kazooie again. And just ah, this is my favorite game, y'all! And I have been beyond excited that Banjo and Kazooie are in Smash Brothers. Well, at least they will be when the DLC comes out in the fall. But I am excited that I have watched like every streamer's reaction to <laughs> Banjo Kazooie, just like yeah. There are other Banjo Kazooie fans, and I feel like all the Banjo Kazooie fans have been like coming out of the woodworks, and I'm like, yes! If we show enough interest, they might make Banjo 3E. Please make Banjo 3E. Please make up for the terrible mistake that was Banjo Kazooie nuts and bolts. That was terrible. So yes, I wanted to throw my hat in the ring and throw some more love to Banjo Kazooie because I adore Banjo Kazooie. Heck, I even loved Ukulele. That was like the spiritual successor of Banjo Kazooie. I know a lot of people didn't like that, but you know what? I did. I loved Banjo 3E. I remember playing the Game Boy Advance version of like is Banjo Kazooie Grunty's Revenge, I think it was. Didn't like nuts and bolts, but that's the only thing Banjo Kazooie re related I have not liked so far. So to help support Banjo Kazooie and coming into Smash and just getting kind of a second resurgence and everyone being like, oh, what's this Banjo Kazooie? I wanted to do some impressions. But then I realized after I said, yeah, let's do Banjo Kazooie impressions and make a video about it and I already like put it in some advertisements and I was like oh yeah they don't say normal vocal stuff it's all noises so this is gonna be interesting <laughs> but I'm gonna have fun doing it I'm gonna have fun doing it and I hope you guys will come along for the ride so let's all journey to Spiral Mountain and do some Banjo-Kazooie impressions and yes I'm only doing the ones from Banjo-Kazooie not Banjo-Tooie because if I did that we'd be here all day so without further ado Banjo-Kazooie impressions <laughs> I, sound, I feel like I'm just some weird crow doing that. I hope Granny turned out okay. I know I don't know do women's voices, but I figure ah, ah, I could probably pull off. Maybe? I don't know. Also, a lot of these are mixed audio, so you're just gonna hear like my raw one, so I don't know how well it's gonna turn out with them because there's like a bunch of mechanical stuff, but I'm gonna do my best. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bottles, I love you, Bottles. You're awesome. <laughs> She's such a valley girl. No, uh huh? Go! Whoa! Whoa! Wee! Wee! That's a rule! Ha 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 ha! No, Wee! Go! No, huh? Oh, 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 oh! It's a weird concept, now that you think about it, a bear and a bird together, but it works. And also, I'm like this close every time I do banjo to do Goofy. And I'm like, don't do Goofy, don't do Goofy, don't do Goofy. And it's so hard because his voice is so similar. Uh -huh. Well, I guess, I guess that laugh is kind of like Mickey and Goofy together. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's, that's hard. 
scare. Jinjo! Help! Help! He like jabs at you with his <laughs> with his claws. I just realized Nipper and Clunko have the same voice. Why did that take me so long to figure out? It's kind of obvious. <laughs> voice acting tip for everyone out there who cannot burp on command: Lacroix are amazing at giving you burps. At least it works for me. <laughs> I don't know how true it is, but I heard somewhere that Clanker's voice is just Banjo's voice really slowed down. <laughs> if so, that's awesome. <clears throat> Does anyone else just think the anchovies from SpongeBob every time they hear this guy's voice? The and then the ones from SpongeBob, the me 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 me, in the first episode, hide your crappy patties, the anchovies are coming. <laughs> okay, Mr. Vile scared me as a kid because I remember I lost one of the rounds. And then out of nowhere, Mr. Violet like, turns around and he's just like, <laughs> and like straight up attacks you as you're leaving. You're like, dude, I just lost your challenge. You're like trying to kill me. What? What is wrong with you? Crazy crocodile gator thing. I don't know what you are. <laughs> Boggy's kids, man. They're the most annoying characters. Like the whole time, just like. I feel like all the dude who's doing the voice is just like wine, 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 wine. Just wine, 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 because that's all y'all do is wine. They annoyed me as a kid. They annoy me now. Boggy's kid, Boggy, you need to teach your kids some manners. Speaking of Boggy. Oh, 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 See, Boggy even sounds like a terrible dad. Why are you such a terrible dad? <laughs> Does this sound like a walrus? Because I feel like they just took walrus sounds and made them high pitched. Does that, does that work? I don't know. This video is so weird. Okay, I'm gonna try for Gobi. I know he's just camel sounds, but I'm gonna try for him. All right, here we go. We're chalking it up to I tried. That's all you're getting of Kobe. He's such a big character in the game, I had to put him, but oh, that was, oh, that's weird. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> Uh, 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 uh,
I'm just imagining now all the people who made the voices for this game. They're sitting around a microphone going, all right, what weird voice do you have for this one? Uh, 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 uh. That works. Put it in. I realized I should have been doing it with that hand because I'm like, can't touch your microphone, can't touch your microphone. <laughs> and they're basically the same voice, but the the hand's like a little bit more open. But other than that, they're the same. You start realizing a lot of these voices were reused, which if I was making the game, I'd probably do it too. Well, probably one of the most mature things I've ever done on this channel. Pretty proud of that. I feel like I'm saying some kind of really weird chant. I hope Beetlejuice isn't gonna pop out or something. It's just doing really high pitched crow sounds. Oh, this video is wearing me out. <laughs> <laughs> And the last one is the Gingernator. Yes, that's really what it's called. <laughs> so that's it for Banjo Kazooie impressions, you guys. Probably the weirdest impression video that I've ever made. So <laughs> if you're still here watching, Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Bye!